The next time you're on the edge of the water or on the water, you're gonna wanna be wearing some bahios. Stick around, I'm gonna talk about it. Welcome to my glass, Tyler. We're talking Bahio. Bahio isn't a brand new company, but they're relatively new, but they're brand new to us. And these are our top picks for fishing in particular. That's kind of where Bahio lives. They're in that fishing community. That's definitely their passion. And so it was really easy finding some amazing fishing sunglasses. But what I was looking for in picking the best of Bahio for fishing, I was looking for something with a good eight base wrap, which is going to give you really good peripheral coverage and protection. Obviously something with polarized lenses, going to cut glare bouncing off the water to allow you to see through the water. That's important even if you're deep sea fishing and you don't necessarily need to sight fish. It's still really nice to cut out that annoying and distracting glare and reflected light. You want something that has a really good lens tech. These days, polarization alone isn't enough. You have so many amazing lens techs out there and Bahio is no exception. They have their Lapis lens technology, which actually blocks out 95% of blue light. We'll get into that in a little bit, as well as amplifying surrounding colors and helps to sharpen contrast. You're also obviously going to want something that is reliable. It won't fail you in the middle of a long fishing weekend, which can for sure ruin a trip. So all of these guys fit the bill. If at the end of this, you're ready to order, don't forget about Sporter X. Definitely don't forget about our Seabird Guarantee because that allows you to order risk-free. All right, let's get into it. First up, we have the nippers. Uh, what ended up happening is we are gonna start with the smallest and go to the largest, both in width, but also in eye size. It'll be really interesting how we get into that. Maybe not that interesting. I'm kind of an optical nerd, so it's interesting to me. Whatever, we'll talk about it. This is probably the most sort of everyday pair on this table, just a really good straightforward wrap with that eight base lens curvature. Eight base, by the way, is the unit of measurement we use to measure lens curvature. So the larger the number, the more curvature there is in the lens, the smaller the number, the flatter. And so an eight based wrap is really important for a great pair of fishing glasses. Of course, you are also gonna get the grip because it doesn't matter how great they are, if they fall off your face, kind of defeats the purpose of having a good pair of sunglasses. So you have grip in the nose, you also have grip in the temples, uh, in the nose, it's fully wrapped around the nose piece here and on the temple, you have it uh, on the inside of the temple where it makes contact with the side of your head. Definitely something that's gonna stay on your face. And when it comes to their lenses, that lapis technology, of course, they're all polarized. So you cannot go wrong. They are going to be uh, polarized no matter what you get. You can't actually get non-polarized from Bahio because fishing is their life. And so they wanna make sure that every lens that they use is amazing for fishing, and they are. Lapis is a great lens technology that uh, admittedly it's newer to us, but we have been getting a lot of great feedback from, and we have been loving in our use as well. Also, while talking about the lenses, you of course are getting a top shelf hydrophobic and oleophobic coating. Hydrophobic means that it is resistant to water and moisture and dirt and dust as well, but also oleophobic, which means it is not something that'll hold your fingerprints as readily or anything oily is gonna more rub off pretty easily or drip off, I don't know, whatever you wanna say. Really, really solid lens text. And all the, also, by the way, this applies to all of these frames here, the same kind of quality of lenses you are gonna get across the board. While speaking of nippers, by the way, you should go ahead and nip the like and subscribe button because we'd like to see more of you and we're the source for all things eyewear, especially prescription. We have lots of content on fishing, whether it be blogs or other videos, so definitely check those out. And uh, what better way than to hit the like and subscribe button so we know what's going on. Also, by the way, all of these on the table are RXable. We have not forgotten, of course, about you prescription wearers. We love you here at Sporter X and Bahio also loves you because they made sure all of their collection is RX ready. 
prescription ready. In terms of other features, I mean, you're getting, I didn't mention this, but the grip on the inside of the temple is also uh, textured. There's a little bit of texture to it, which will help to directionalize moisture to get it off of your head to make them more uh, grippy. There's a slight bend in the temple. So instead of it hooking all the way behind the ear, just slightly, slightly bend. So it'll hold on to the ear, make them less prone to sliding down your face. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 129 millimeters, which lands you in that small range for men and medium range for women. Next up, we have the scooch, 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 the scooch, the scooch, scooch. We have the scooch, another really good <laughs> wrap around design, much larger lens on this, definitely giving you a lot more when compared to the nippers, by the way, definitely give you, uh, giving you a lot more coverage, a lot more, as I say, lens real estate. Uh, that's a really big piece here. You do, of course, have, again, that grip in the nose, grip in the temple. It's a little more of a low profile grip in this. It's embedded in the nose piece as well as embedded in the temple tips. So just at the ends. Uh, but a super lightweight frame material, so it's definitely going to stay on your head just fine. I will admit, because of the size of the lens, uh, you feel a little bit more weight on this frame and definitely something to consider as well. And this kind of goes across the board, though, honestly, for all larger lensed frames is that then when you put a prescription in it, it's going to be a little bit heavier especially depending on the strength of your prescription. If you have a really strong prescription, it will make them a little bit heavier. I actually did a video on what to expect out of lens weights and thicknesses and everything uh, in prescription eyewear. You should check out if you're concerned with that or interested in that at all. Uh, I thought it was pretty fun and an interesting one that you can check out if you are also interested in it. Another one with a kind of a slight bend in the temple here. This frame material isn't going to adjust quite as readily, even with your optician's help even with a frame warmer, just because that's the nature of the material, kind of a double-edged sword. So what you're getting is a frame that doesn't really go out of adjustment. You're not gonna have to worry about even in those super hot extreme temperature days, them starting to get warped and get out of adjustment. But that also means that you can't really adjust them after the fact. So there is that. Still an amazing style, really cool frame. I'm digging it. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 132 millimeters, which lands at a men's medium or a women's medium to large. And next up, we have the Bales Beach. This is another large lens, a little more rectangular. I'd say that the uh, the scooch is a little more kind of squared off, like a rounded square. This is a pretty straightforward rectangular design or shape, but a pretty large lens as well. Really a lot of grip in the nose and a little more grip on the ends of the temple here, a little bit softer of a grip as well, which I find means a little better performance in terms of that gripping potential. But you also have the notches at the tips of the temple, which would allow you to attach a leash to it if you wanna make sure that you get that extra retention. You never have to stress about looking over the boat and it falling off your head. You got a little leash, so that's nice. This also has some venting in the front, a little bit of a built-in side shield. They went with their bio-based frame material, so eco-friendly, but also very lightweight and great performance. The side shields are going to help to, uh, it's, and a little bit of uh, hooding at the top, uh, brow hooding, is going to give you that much more protection against light coming in through the backside of the frame, no matter where the sun is at. Really nice. Thermal plastic rubber grip is what they call the, the material on this in particular. And again, it is textured, so that does help a little bit in terms of directionalizing moisture. Uh, and that's the case in the nose pad as well. Really solid style, great pick if the fit is right for you. And when it comes to fit, this has an SFW of 134 millimeters, which lands you at a men's medium or a women's large. And next up, we have the NATO, another great style that's a little more of a rectangular and oversized lens design, which again is gonna give you great coverage. They have that same grip tech here as on the Bales Beach on the ends of the temple, as well as those notches at the ends of the temple. The nose piece 
grip, the grip and the nose piece that is, uh, is embedded. So it's a little more low profile, uh, not quite as much material there in terms of the grip material, but just enough definitely to keep them on your head. But again, that added retention, thanks to those notches at the ends of the temple tips here. A lot more frame material in this, if you can't tell. Thicker temples, which kind of serves as a side shield as well. A little, little bit of a side shield uh, design here where the temples meet the frame front, uh, but you don't have that same hooding at the top. So do keep that in mind. I like it when I see that. Not a big deal if you don't. One thing I haven't mentioned about uh, these, which is the case with all of them actually, uh, let me double check here. Uh, not quite. I'll, I'll get to that here. Uh, with the exception of this guy, which I'll talk about in a moment, all of these are a simple pin hinge. So a, a single screw and a really simple design, which I like seeing. Uh, the spring hinges out there typically can be a weak point in a frame. So I like just the simple cam hinges that have fewer moving parts and just work really, really well. When it comes to sizing, this also has an SFW of 134 millimeters. So the same as a Bales Beach, uh, but it, because of the frame material, I think it, it, it kind of comes across as a larger frame. So keep that in mind if you're concerned with how they look and not just the function. And at 134, again, that lands you in the men's medium range or a women's large. And last but certainly not least, we have the Roca. This is by far the largest lens on the table. Really cool des design, really cool style, maybe a little different from the typical fishing sunglasses in the market today, uh, mainly because of the size of this lens and how much real estate you get. Functionally, that's amazing because it gives you more protection, gives you more visibility, gives you more of everything that you really need out of a sunglass frame. I think this is the most feature rich in terms of a fishing sunglass and in, in, in terms of the collection we have here. You do have grip in the nose. It's a little more of a somewhat saddle bridge design, but it is a fixed bridge, but you have some venting in here. You have a little softer of that grip material, which like I mentioned earlier, tends to mean better performance, at least in my experience, grips a little bit better. Uh, you have a little less grip material on the temple tips, but you still do have that notched temple tip here, which would allow you again to attach a leash. You have the built-in side shields with additional venting. You also have the brow protection here, a little bit of a brow side shield, which again, no matter where the sun is at, no matter where the light source is at, you are covered. Really solid style. Again, huge lens. That's the biggest thing for me. Really cool style. When it comes to sizing, the largest in this collection at 139 millimeters for the SFW, which lands you at a men's large or a women's extra large. So that wraps it up for our top picks from Bahio in fishing sunglasses. We are really excited about Bahio. They are, it seems like just blowing right out of the gate with some amazing styles. We would love to hear what you have to think. So let us know in the comment section below. And again, check us out on our site, SportRx, because we have everything that Bahio carries in prescription and in non-prescription. We want your next fishing trip to be the best it can possibly be. And we see eyewear playing a significant role in that. So definitely let us help you out. Also, again, if you are ready to shop for any of these styles, stick around for a moment longer. We'll have an easy to click shop now button. And again, don't forget about that Sea Better guarantee. I really think it gives you a ton of peace of mind. If you're new to Bahio and you wanna try them out, but you're nervous, especially in prescription, we got you covered with our Sea Better guarantee. We just wanna make sure you're happy. You have as long as 45 days with them to figure it out. We're gonna take care of you. All we care about is you being happy and seeing the best you can see. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this is interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like, cause that would help us out. You can find relevant videos over here. If you're ready to shop any of these great styles, which you should be, you can click this button right here. It'll take you right to them. If you're looking for more content to consume as we all are these days, check us out on our social media outlets. We're on all of them. You can find us at SportRx.